Zine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a can of lager, no less. But no ordinary lager, it's a can of Anchor's California Lager. Apparently it says on the side, California's first genuine lager reborn. So this is harking back to a historical recipe. Um, I've had this a couple of times, um, most notably at, on draft at the brewery. As I do with cans, I drink it first, then pour it into a glass. Because I do like drinking can, uh, beer out of the can. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big beery pond, admittedly. I mean, I like my fancy stemware and stuff like that. And my, my Spiegel, how kind of pills in the glass I've got here. But you mean, I like to drink out of the can when I'm just kind of like hanging around at home. Anyway, so let's dive in. Cheers, it's 4.9% ABV. Just got in from work. Fancied this. It was cold, it was in the fridge. Nice stuff. Um, as you'd expect, for me, it's a it's a definitely steps and paces and miles ahead of American light lager. Um, it's closer to a, like a really faithful German pilsner. It's got a nice herbal flavour. Yeah, and very much a spiciness to it. And for me, maybe a hint of cardamom, maybe um, dried coriander. There's, a, there's definitely a sweetness to it as well. Mild toffee sweetness. Lemon, slightly kind of aged lemon, maybe kind of preserved lemons actually. Kind of thing you have in um, kind of like a tagine or something like that. So, stick some in a glass, see what it looks like. Most important. But and most importantly, get the aroma. So, a bit of glass, what's it gonna look like? What do you think? What was that? Looks like lager, doesn't it? Hey, it's very pale, kind of yellowish gold. A nice kind of head of pure white froth. So, let's check out the aroma. We'll get a bit more in it actually, I don't think I've poured enough. It's very British. It reminds me a lot of um, Anchor Steam, definitely, and I think that the brood, the ferment is using the same um, yeast, so it's definitely that, which reminds me of a lot of beers you get from the likes of Shepherd Neem, which has a kind of hint of gooseberry, maybe a hint of, there's a metallic edge, there's definitely melon. But yeah, I'm getting a hint of DMS there, that kind of like tin corn, but not much of it, only a little bit more. Invalid toffee. I mean, I don't know what's called nowadays. You used to get a little, like a big piece of hard toffee. You break it with a little hammer. You get it anyway. You get it in shops, and you get it like at Christmas time. And you get a little silver hammer with it and stuff. People of people of a certain age will probably know that. I know Terry Kay. I remember talking to him about that. But but on nose, it's definitely hitting towards more a British ale, British kind of pale ale, a traditional British pale ale. And an American light lager, less pills in the light, not as herbal as something like, which I love, um, Yiva. So let's dive in. Cheers, let's see if it's any different. Mm, I see it's a bit more rounded, definitely getting a lot more sweetness, a bit more of that yeast, definitely a lot more of that um, kind of toffee. It's, just, it's like tang of hops. And ends with kind of like a sugary note, and then just as it, the kind of the lasting aftertaste is definitely bitter hops, kind of lemon, maybe a hint of topsoil in there, kind of wet leaves, all that type of thing. For me, it's definitely an American beer. It's American lager. It's not. A, it's not a pilsner in that sense. It's very, very, very enjoyable. Really solidly made. Kind of like it. Obviously, head and shoulders above uh, your average macro. And it's nice that if you're in California, if you want a can of lager, you don't have to go and pick up a, a, a six pack of Budweiser. You can get one brewed at an authentic, traditional, ethical, revolutionary in a lot of ways, massively influential brewery like Anchor in California, in San Francisco in particular. 
amazing brewery. If you ever get the chance to visit, I strongly suggest you do. It's where it all began. I mean, we wouldn't be drinking all these awesome IPAs and stuff and cool ass beers in a can like this if we want for the likes of Anchor. So that is a can of Anchor California Lager, 4.9% ABV from San Francisco, as I said. Nice stuff. I'm Rob from Hopzine.com. See you next time. Cheers.